What is up, Ghoul Army? Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, guys, we got something that I don't usually do on the channel, and I kind of waited for a while to do this. Like, I've wanted to do this, like, a long, long time ago. But, you know, I wanted to get a good little vlog set up, you know, a little rhythm to get it all going and prepared. But we are going to be going to Target, and we're going to be looking for exclusive packs that we basically find in miscellaneous places. Now, this is kind of related to that little, you know, hidden pack hunts and whatnot. However, it's something that I didn't want to do at the time because it was blowing up and I didn't want to seem like, you know, I was, you know, trying to follow the trend or copying stuff or whatever you want to call it. So I kind of waited until it died down completely so I can do it myself and I can actually, you know, do a vlogging hunting series because who doesn't love looking for Pokemon cards? I don't even call this hunting. It's just casually buying Pokemon cards because there's nothing really to hunt for when it comes to the newer stuff. Now, if you were making hunts for like old booster packs or something along those lines, now that is something I'd be really, really interested in. But in today's video, guys, we got ourselves a Burning Shadows blister pack. And let's just say I'm hoping that this is the one where we pull a Charizard Hyper Rare, guys. Now, there's a ton of amazing cards in Burning Shadows, such as the Hyper Rare Charizard, uh, I believe Gardevoirs are pretty nice in this set. Acerolas, uh, the Secret Rare Energies, a bunch of amazing stuff in this set. And I just want to at least get something good to make my money's worth. Because that's basically the whole idea behind, you know, vlogging for Pokemon cards or something along those lines. It's basically getting your money back when it comes to buying stuff for retail. Because if you're buying retail, you want to get what you pay for. Otherwise, just buy online. You can find some amazing deals online for sure but before we get into this video guys go ahead and smash that like button right now smash that like button right now because if you guys do we will pull a charizard hyper rare in this booster pack guys i kind of want to do a series for each set for the rarest card in that set and just try to pull it as best as we can honestly that seems like a lot of fun to me so let me know in the comments down below if that's a series you guys want me to start so for burning shadows we'd look for the charizard for guardians rising we'd look for the rainbow tapu lele for ultra prism we'd look for the gold card so there's a ton of extremely exciting cards to look for guys and make sure you guys subscribe enjoy the ghoul army and welcome turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a damn video you feel me but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and roll a clip but without further ado i'm gonna roll a clip of me at target you know looking for misplaced and basically hunting for pokemon cards specifically packs that have rarities in them that basically everybody wants so for burning shadows we'd look for the charizard so i specifically was looking for guardians rising burning shadows packs mainly i did wanted to see if ultra prism was leaked early but it wasn't obviously so without further ado let's roll the clips what's up everybody i'm gonna do some small commentary here and there but this target that i'm at it has a ton of areas for pokemon cards However, we're looking at a small one right now, and there really isn't much in it, so let's go ahead and move on to the next area real quick. Ton of sales going on, but none of them are for Pokemon cards, which is unfortunate, but I mean, you can't win them all, honestly. You, honestly, I don't really see much, you know, Pokemon card-wise. Nothing really too hidden. We did see a Savali box back there, but I don't know about that. It was kind of wide in the open, and plus not really too much going on as i mentioned before guys so let's go ahead and go into the third spot but there still is a fourth spot in this target everybody so it's crazy there's a lot of pokemon cards in this target but not much stock honestly so we're looking through these pink collections and nothing really in between you know hidden in those little boxes and whatnot so we're now in the third area, and we see some big super premium collection boxes towards the bottom. You know, the one with the Shiny Legend packs, the Ho-Oh Hyper Rare, and so forth. I am planning on getting a second camera, guys. And the second camera is basically going to be 
for more vlog footage with the better audio so I can actually talk during vlogs when I visit the stores. Face cam, aka face reveal. But I might pick up some of these EX blister packs because I absolutely love them. You guys already know that I love my EX blister packs. There were the collector's boxes, but those are a ripoff and I completely suggest everyone avoids them so now we're going to be checking behind these tins i'm not sure if there's going to be anything behind them but hopefully hopefully there's something up front because it looks like our luck is running out for these products over here all right guys we are now in the front of the store where there is a ton now, I mean a ton of collection boxes, blister packs, ETBs, and so forth. There's like a ton of stuff to look through, and we're just finding for some secret, secret stuff. That's all I want to look for, man. And I do see some like one pack, one foil, one break, but I don't really want to pick that up because I don't really think it's the best thing to grab. But if we don't find anything, we will definitely pick that up for sure, guys. So let's keep on looking and let's see what else do we find over here. We got a ton of collection boxes, Burning Shadows ETBs, Shining Legend chests. We got that magic action going on right here. But guys, I found something. I found a Burning Shadows blister pack. Guys, I found a Burning Shadows blister pack in the back where all the magic cards are. Should I just call it a day and stick with that because we were looking for something along those lines and i feel like burning shadows fits right in there so let's go ahead and take this product home and let's see what we get out of it next time i'll get the break pack i saw some crimson invasion one pack blisters with binders which i might pick up afterwards but without further ado let's get back to the setup i think we're set here Alrighty guys and we are back with our blister pack and let's just get right into this thing man i have no idea what to expect i'm hoping that packs like this that are not on the correct spot are a little bit more lucky than usual i remember when i was a kid i always used to look for packs like that when i was younger it was crazy man i absolutely loved buying pokemon cards at walmart because they used to have base set booster boxes on the shelf propped open where you can buy the packs as single ones because they do have the barcode right here so they can just scan it and you can literally buy booster packs out of the booster box back in the day obviously they don't do that anymore because everybody be stealing like everybody be freaking stealing why y'all stealing man why are y'all stealing but we got a cosmog holographic right there and here is our code card for you guys and dang my finger is in so much pain right now like has this ever happened to you guys where you have a little piece of skin on your nail like just sticking out and it annoys you so you decide to peel it off and then after that it just starts hurting like hell that's what I'm feeling right now, and it is not pleasant, guys. So we got three booster packs right here. We're going to be saving Ho-Oh for last because this is the blessed pack right there. Blessed by Lord Helix himself. This pack right here shall contain the treasures, the hyper-rare Charizard. So these two booster packs right here, we got Tapu Fini and Akrozma, all legendary Pokemon, so... Let's go ahead and start with Tapu Fini because I do love Necrozma much, much better. So let's go ahead and open this up, everybody. And here is a code card for you guys right there. And I was going to be opening up a, what is it, uh, Ultra Prism pre-release box. However, the eBay seller that I dealt with is absolutely terrible. I'm not going to put his name right here because that's petty and I'm not like that. But I will never, ever buy from that seller again because he does not know how to sell pre-release kits at all. So we got a Sophocles. We got a Rebombi. I see something, guys. Let's go ahead and reveal the Panzer. Let's see what, what it has. Okay, it's just glossiness. So it is a regular Ultra Rare. And oh my god, we got a Muck GX. An Alolan Muck GX. I swear, I have like 10 copies of this card now. I have like 10 copies. I have way too many Alolan mugs, 
and there's like 10 of them in the trade binder that I have. The trade slash sell binder slash giveaway binder. That binder has a lot of purposes. But let's go ahead and toss the homie to the side for now. It is a pool nonetheless. So we've been blessed with an Alolan buff. And I'm glad that there was something in that booster pack. So we got another Burning Shadows code. And I'm surprised that the codes are facing the other direction. So let's do four to the front and let's see what we get guys we got a venipede but i did pre-order a booster box of ultra prism yeah you guys heard right a sealed booster box that is something i never do on this channel because i love buying loose packs but i pre-ordered the elite trainer box and a booster box and the reason why i did that is because ultra prism is an amazing set plus i want to give out some booster packs to you guys so once we get in that ultra prism booster box there will be a lot that we're gonna do with that box but we got oh i almost dropped that pack on the floor what's wrong with me i got butterfingers but for the final pack guys we got a ho-oh booster pack and let's hope that this right here this particular pack is blessed with all kinds of pulls and let's hope that it's an error pack that we get nine ultra rares from here is that reaching too much that probably is reaching too much but let's go ahead and open this up guys it is facing the other direction i love it when the code does that i absolutely love it so let's see what we get guys let's do four to the front and let's see what we finally get from the final pack of this blister pack we got a rylu muck why did Bruh. i say muck this is a grimer we got ladybug cutie fly horsey fighting energy char is that a sign oh my god guys this is a sign right there let's put charmeleon in the background for good luck because that is a sign we got a buffalin olivia sophocles reverse not bad not bad however this card is actually really bad in my opinion and oh my god we got a regular rare a classic regular rare a classic regular rare a classic regular rare a classic regular rare that is unfortunate guys so that means in this video we are gonna be leaving with a cosmog and in a lowland muck gx basically a two dollar card and probably like a 50 cent probably this cosmog is worth more than this alolan muck so in my opinion this was a fail however we are not stopping now we are going to be searching for the hyper rare charizard every time we go to the store i'm going to try to get burning shadows booster packs until we pull that hyper rare charizard we might get the guardians rising booster packs as well and then we might also get sun and moon base just until we get those high rarity cards so without further ado guys if you did enjoy this video go ahead and smash that like button for your boy and without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace